Ahoy mga katotoys! Welcome to Tune R. And today, we're going to do unboxing and review to this mini action figure Chodenji Combatler V by Action Toys. Before we start, special thanks to Quixdell for sponsoring this mini action figure Combatler V. And now, going back to this Combatler V, ang robot ni Ate V. Cho Denji Robo Combatler V or Cho Denji Robo Combatora V or Super Electromagnetic Robot Combatler V is a Japanese mecha anime television series Produced by Toy Company and Nippon Sunrise, aired from 1976 to 1977. This is the first part of the Robot Romance trilogy of Super Robot series created by Saburo Yatsude and directed by Tadao Nagahama. It was also aired in the Philippines and later I'll give you some story about it. This figure was manufactured by Action Toys from the mini series of mini action figure and the box size is 18 cm tall and 21 cm wide. The front cover was the standing mecha of Combatler B together with the 5 battle machines and at the back is showcasing the possible poses of Combatler B and again together with the 5 battle machines. And now let's proceed with the handboxing. Here's the figure itself. So its presentation is decent enough and uh, it's a good uh, representation figure of Combatter V. The material is made of uh, ABS plastic, PVC plastic, and POM plastic material. So 
the color is good uh, with silver color here and semi gloss blue, red, and yellows. So let's go with the articulation. The head can rotate 360 like this, move upward and downwards, shoulder rotation for 360 if possible. Elbow bend up to this portion only. Torso and waist can twist like this and up to this only. For the legs, can move from here and here, bend the knees up to here only. And for the feet, you can move it like forward and sideward like this. And definitely, this is another must-have collection for the Mecha Collectors. I think the price is fair enough. Don't expect too much with the articulation, but still, you can manage to do some nice toy photography posts. Ayon pala sa aking napag-alaman at napanood sa channel ni Sir Bitoy in Bitoy Story number 24, Si Combatler Visa na yung first pick dito sa Pinas and unfortunately sa sobrang sikat pa niya sa Japan mahal pa yung franchise fee niya compared with Voltes 5 and Daimos. Yun na nga si Voltes 5 and Daimos muna yung kinuha and pinalabas dito sa Pinas. Year 1999 si Tele Success Production siya yung Philippine licensor ng Voltes 5 and Daimos is nakuha niya na si Combatler to air in Philippines sa GMA Channel 7. Pinalabas si Combatler V sa Philippines noong November 26, 1999 na nakatagalog dub. After matapos yung buong episode ni Daimos nung that time, 8pm every Friday, si Combatler V naman yung pumalit. Same with Voltes 5 and Daimos, yung names ng characters ni Combatler V ay nagkaroon din ng Filipino counterpart name. During 1999 to 2000, hindi siya gaano sumikat, di gaya ni Voltes 5 and Daimos. Then pinalabas uli siya sa hapon under same channel, GMA7. And that time doon ko first na napanood yung mga episode ni Combatler V. August 2005, nakuha siya ni Hero TV at pinalabas ulit. And that's the unboxing and review of mini action figure Chodenji Robo Combatler V by Action Toys. Until next time mga katotoys, here in Junar, may the toys be with you.